Floss Tube friends. It's time for another episode. I should say, good morning, my Floss Tube friends. It's time for an early episode. You may be thinking, what in the world? What is Annie doing already on my YouTube list? Well, I'll get to that in a minute. Welcome. My name is Annie. I am Joyfield Stitcher both here on YouTube and over on Instagram. This is Floss Tube number 106, and it is Friday, May the 28th. And it is my last day of work for the 2020-2021 school year. That is a mouthful. Ooh. Yes, so you may be wondering, why is she appearing on my subscription list or my recommended list at 7 a.m.-ish? on a Friday morning. Well, so here's the deal. I have, um, I'm not sure what my day is going to look like today. There's a chance I'm going to get to move some of my stuff into my new space. So, and I'm going to get my hair done this evening. It needs a cut. It's, it's bordering on mullet. Like it's, it's for sure something in the back, not a party and not really business in the front either. So long story short, I was up this morning. I had all my stuff already together. I thought, you know what? I could be a complete and total train wreck by this afternoon. Granted, I would have new hair, but it would be later. I have been falling asleep like significantly earlier than usual. And so, yeah, I just thought, you know what? I'm in a good mood this morning. I mean, I'm in a good mood most all the time. But I'm like up. I'm perky. I might still have crusties in my eyes. <laughs> it's late May in Texas, which means allergies are... So, anywho. Quickly, this is floss tube. Did I already say this? I can't even remember. Floss tube number 106. Or 106. You don't add and unless there's a comma in the number. Math facts. And um, it is Friday, May the 28th. Again, this is my last day of work for this school year. Yay! And this week I have been busting it out trying to get everything organized and packed and ready to be moved to my new space. I will share more about that in a later video in the summertime. But it's all good. I'm super pumped. I'm super excited about my new position at my school. So yes, woohoo. So what's on the agenda for today? Little life update, which I just kind of did some, but I'll do a little bit more. What I worked on this week, plans coming up in the like coming up soon area. And I actually have a tiny bit of stash, tiny bit. Something finally came from back in March and I'm excited to share that with you. It arrived unexpectedly, like I didn't even get a tracking notification. And then, um, so yeah. So life, again, last week of school, uh, Joyfield Little One's last day was yesterday. They had two half days. And so she's been hanging out with uh, her grandmother, my mom, and having just a good old time. They had an end of the year pool party, which was super fun on Wednesday. My mom took her to that. So she rocked third grade. She had all A on a roll for the whole year. She received um, achievement awards in Chinese it, because our kids take starting in third grade Chinese and Spanish every day. Mandarin Chinese and Spanish every day. And she also got an achievement award in art. She received, she was part of our word count club for reading and she read 574,000 plus words for this year. And so she received a Barnes and Noble gift card and a certificate, which is super fun. And they give a character trait award to every kid. And that's what shared at their award ceremony. And she received the one for honesty. So I'm super proud of her. She did a fantastic job. She had an E in conduct for the last nine weeks. She's just amazing. She's incredible. I love her initiative and her, that was her award actually from second grade was initiative. And she just keeps on trucking. This year was interesting and different. She's seems to like take change a lot more easily than she used to when she was a little bitty. I guess a pandemic will do that to you. 
and um, ready for fourth grade, which kind of hurts this mama's heart because now I feel like she's in upper elementary. Um, she's got three more years on my campus before she goes over to the Big Kid campus in seventh grade. And so I'm super excited to have three more years with her at my campus. And people have asked, well, you can teach up through eighth grade. Why don't you head over there? I'm like, no, mm -mm. my heart's with the littles. So anywho, um, other life update. Really, that's about it. Um, oh, pre-ordered the second book in the Bridgerton series, The Viscount Who Loved Me. Pre-ordered it on um, Amazon and it shipped and came this week. So I'm excited to dig into this one. Actually, I'm excited to dig into both of them because I've only read just a tiny bit of this one. You know, the end of the school year, there's just not a lot of time for extras, extra fun stuff, like reading fun books. Um, I have one professional book I'm going to be reading this summer. It hasn't come in yet. And I have some trainings that I'm going to be doing. And a one virtual conference, no, two virtual conferences that go along with my new position. So I have a lot planned. Um, swim lessons start this next week. So we've got, we've got kind of a foolish days, not foolish, full sort of days. And so, yeah, and one of the things we're going to do is go spend that Barnes & Noble gift card for some summer reading for the little one. She has a book she has to read um, for summer reading. Last year it was Flat Stanley. This year it is Because of Win dixie which is a fantastic book. I'm excited to read that along with her, and they discuss it and do activities at the beginning of the year. So, yeah, that'll be exciting. So let's dig into what I stitched on this week. So... I had a couple of things that still had some birthdays. I pulled some things back out. I had a new start and finish. It was not a one one and done kind of thing. Um, it did take me two days. So let's just dig right in. So I did work um, some more on Love Builds a Happy Home. Um, this is by Tiny Modernist. And this was a Market 2020 release. I'm stitching this on a 28 count white Monaco. And I'm stitching it with two threads of the called for DMC over two threads of the Monaco even weave. And I have finished the entirety of the center motif. And there is a part of me that as much as I love this whole chart, like this is just a perfect little motif. My first initial is A, um, Annie, obviously. And I love the two little bluebirds. And so there's a part of me that's like, do I call it done? Do I call it done? Like, yes, love builds a happy home. But look at how cute. It's just precious. So I don't know. I'm 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 debating it because this is an awful lot of Monaco to just like be like me. Um so yeah, I I don't know about that. Maybe leave me your thoughts in the comments if you think like, hey, yeah, be call it done. Or keep going, keep going. Most of y'all are gonna say keep going because you want to see it. And I get that. But like lots of whips. I also worked some more on my Noah's Ark Mantle, which is a three-part series from Bent Creek. I adore this piece, and I am currently, I started over here on this side, so I am working through this first section of the chart. This is on an 18-count Ada. I'm not sure. It's like a mystery. It's a mystery to me what it is, and I know it's a Zweigert. And so I actually got quite a bit more done. I finished out this bottom alligator. I finished out stitching the things in the tree, both of the black birds, both of the elephants, and I finished the sign. Now, the sign calls for being filled in with 613, which is very similar to my fabric. I didn't do that to myself. I went ahead and said, you know what? I like it just like this. So that is done. The only things left on release on the first section are the banner at the top, and there's grass at the bottom. So the next time I pull this out, I will do those and then move on to the next chart. But I love this. I haven't yet determined what I'm gonna do about eyes because it calls for French or colonial knots and I stink at those. So my thought was, okay, beads. Then I'm thinking, do I just want them to be eyeless animals? I'm not sure. Uh, obviously if I do anything, it would be beads and I would do that at the end. So I'm just gonna reserve judgment until then. Good deal. So this was my start and finish. And I talked about starting this on the 25th um, for my husband's birthday and getting it complete by our 10-year wedding anniversary on June 11th. It's finished. 
Um, this is a very small stitch from Artith Designs. It's called 143 or I Love You. And so I did modify one thing. Um, it called for, uh, or I modified a few things. It called for Gentle Art Soot, which I used, and then it called for DMC Black for the key and the heart. I ended up subbing in um, Classic Colorworks Wavy Navy instead, just for something different. And then I did in cursi a cursive back stitch at the bottom, I love you, and put the year 21. And so it is finished. It's tiny. And this is on a, just a mystery grab bag 18 count Ada from uh, Color and Cotton. Um, I just Google searched a la Jessie Marie of Jessie Marie Does Stuff for her really pretty like flower of the month series. She just said she had searched for a cursive backstitch font and there are images that come up and this is one. It looks very similar, I think, to hers and it happened to fit perfectly. I love you. And then I put 21 over here. So it is complete. I'm not sure how I'm going to fully finish it. So I guess that's a good thing that I got it done fairly quickly. It gives me some time to think about it. I'd actually thought about doing some kind of like little bag tag or something. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I want it to stay nice and not get gross. So it's got to be encapsulated in some way if it's going to go with them like out and about in the world. So I did put some more time into my Satsuma Street Libra chart. I started this one on my two-year floss tube anniversary last um, week. And so I'm still kind of working on the scales, um, scales and balances. So just filling in some colors. I love the dimensional look that Satsuma Streets just gets with the, the DMC colors. That's why I do not deviate. The only thing would be if I just don't have something, I find the closest substitute. There's a great website. It's Cody Hoover DMC Substitute. And if you click on the DMC, it'll give you like five close substitute colors. And um, I occasionally will use that if I'm not wanting to go out and buy more floss, which I'm not like keen on that. So I'm loving that. That's a fun like fill in color stitch. I, I love it. It moves fast too. It's on, I don't even think I said this. It's on 18 count Navy Ada, two strands of floss over the one square. Next up, I worked on this a bit more, I think, since last week. So this is Barbara Anna Designs, All Creatures Great and Small. It is huge, but I love it. It is by far my biggest project right now. It's 317 by 248. It's on a very large piece of um, 18 count Ada. So I'll show you the whole thing, and then I will highlight where I, where I worked. So I worked down here in this hill. I'm kind of filling in the green. And then we'll go back and fill in the characters. So I got a bunch more fill in over here. I've outlined a bunch. You can see there's like a llama. There's a man or woman. I'm not sure. A person here. And then there's some green fill in. So this is great because this sets me up for, you know, there's going to be a dentist appointment this summer. There's going to be some other things that where I have to sit in the car. And so fill in. So... This is a standby fill-in project. Um, this is a 18 count Ada from Oksana Lopatina. And she is on, um, I found her through Stash Unloading. There was a question about how do you get to Stash Unload. It is a group on Facebook. Um, there's two. There's Stash Unload or Cross Stitch Stash Unload. I think it's just Stash Unload. And then there's Stash Unloading Cross Stitch Only. Oksana is in the stash unloading cross stitch only and they're private groups you go in you request answer the questions if there are questions it occasionally you do have to wait it just depends on the admins because that's not a paid position to be an admin and so um I've been in for a while I have not bought anything or even visited the groups you know with algorithms and things I often only see certain things like um it used to be when I was frequenting them I would see lots in my feed now I see lots of other things in my feed because I'm frequenting other things so um it's a great place if you have things you want to de-stash and you don't want to set up your own like I have on my Instagram which is at joy.filled.destash I think there might be some stuff up still but I know there will be some coming over the summer because I have um 
the need to, I, I have the desire to purge. Um, so anywho, that being said, to answer that question, you know what? I forgot. Some of y'all are probably shouting hugs. So let's get our hugs in. I usually do those at the beginning. Sometimes I forget all the way to the end. Now we're just going to smack dab in the middle. So here we go. Let's get some hugs in. Hug one. Mm -hmm. Hug two. Mm -hmm. And then we give ourselves a big old squeeze. <sighs> we're hugged for today. And I have one more project to share. This is my May, one of my May Whipgo focus pieces. Whipgo is a fantastic idea that Jesse Marie of Jesse Marie Does Stuff came up with. I think two or so years ago and she kind of was doing it and she talked about it in her videos and it's like oh what's that what's that what's that and I think a lot of people asked what's that what's that what's that and um so then last year she introduced it it blew up lots of people joined all throughout the year and so everybody was curious with her having sweet little baby does stuff if she would be able to keep it up and she is and it's fantastic she actually like added in new things about whip go weekends and all this other cool stuff and so now lots of people are part of it and you may be hearing it on other videos about these are my whip goes so basically what you do is you come up with 25 of your projects or 24 in a free space add them to like a bingo board and each month she picks two on the month where there's a free space she picks three because some people do have a project there I do not. I choose to take the free space with no get, no shame and no guilt. And because that's how bingo works is there's a free space. Um, and then you've set goals for those. So my goals are all last year. I completely was tragic when it came to WIPGO because I set my goals way, 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 way too high like lots of finishes and FFOs. Well, if you've been around for any length of time, I'm not a, I'm a process stitcher. I have figured that out. It has taken me that amount of time to figure that out. So I set my goals this year as number of days worked on it and it's days for the year. And so I have met my WIPGO goals, January, February, March, April. I lack a couple of days on one of them. May, I lack a couple of days on one of them, and I think I will either meet or get within a couple of days on this project. They just released June numbers. I'll talk about that during plans. And so, I showed this last week because I had finished one of the charts on it. This is this gets 14 days for my Whip Go goal. This is the Blackbird Designs Garden Club series. I'm doing four of them. I had finished basket of cherries last week there's thread hanging off of that of course fantastic professionalism at its best so I started apple orchard and I started this um, on one of the days that I stitched on it I've kind of been stitching on this a bit monogamous um I'm kind of doing what I call hybrid monogamy and that's because I have projects that have birthdays this month and so I worked on those I worked a lot on Tom's Foolery at the beginning of the month and kind of worked exclusively on that for a number of days. Then I work, I've worked on Garden Club for exclusively for a number of days. And then I worked on Christmas Tree from Barbara Anna Designs, which is my other whip go for this month. I worked on it for a couple of days. Now, I didn't slot in that one for all 14 days this month because one, I've already worked on it a bunch. And two, I know that I will be working on it in July because I typically work on all of my Christmassy wintery themed projects during July so I know it will get some days there so it will have its goal met by the end of the year especially since its birthday is Christmas so I know there's at least one day in December for it to get so I'm kind of I kind of made sure that since this had a birthday this month that I made this my focus of my whip goes so anywho I have two more after this one butterfly garden and fairy garden um, I'm stitching them in a two by two configuration and I started this and have gotten pretty far. So here is the edge of the um, basket of cherries chart. So I've stitched in this border. I've stitched the entirety of the trunk and branches of the tree and then I've started working on one of the greenery and there's two greens in the leaves. 
So yeah, there's a bird in there. There's some apples. Do I think I'll have this finished by the end of the month? I don't think so. But I think I have this slotted for every day until June 1st. So we'll see. And I'm enjoying stitching on it. It's 18 count Ada from Color and Cotton in the color Colonnade, I think, or Colonnade. Colon, col, colonnade. And I'm kind of doing it with um, colors close to the called for or the called for. It just depended when I kitted this, what I had. And so there's a lot of uh, kind of things tossed in that are close to the called for. Because at that point I didn't have, you know, tons and tons of gentle arts. Um, I've got this on my hoop with my little stretchy things. Um, so somebody had also asked about these. Um, found these through lots of other stitchers. I think I actually heard about them from Pam and Steph. And um, so these are the Smart and Cool Magnetic Cable Ties. So you can search magnetic cable ties because they're used to like wind up your cables and stuff. But, you know, stitchers are in... in um, full of ingenious ideas and ingenuitive. Is that a word? Let me make it up. I don't know. Anyway, so I use mine like this. I take two, clip them. They magnetize here. I twist them around my bulk of fabric and then I clip them here. And then I've got another set that's going this way and another set because this is a big piece of fabric. And I haven't cut it down. I could, but I just haven't. And so I just roll with it. Um, so yeah, Smart and Cool are the brand that mine are, but there's lots of options out there. There's some that look like stars and hearts, and I just keep them in my little toady thing. I'm going to actually show you my tote because um, this is what I keep my supplies and stuff. I carry this around um, to like my living room. This is the Molly Ollie. It's actually a diaper caddy, and I saw this on Nell of Little House Crafts. Um, she showed this. Hers was a dark color. See, and there's like string. See, it's felt, so like it catches all my orts. Um, old ratty threads. And so I've got, you know, like my corner gauge. I've got my screwdriver, yes, because I tighten my hoops with that. I've got a couple pair of scissors. Another pair of scissors. I tend to like lose my scissors. My iPad's in here. I've got hoops, extra hoops in here. I've got trash in here. And I've got my Animal Crossing Sanrio cards in here. You know, it's a multifunctional tote. It's got a pen, some extra needles and stuff. And so I keep the inside had like these little sorty things, like dividers. I took them out. So now I've got one big pocket. And I just kind of keep different projects in here. And then, um, so yeah, and I can carry this from my bed to my stitchy chair to the living room. And yeah, so I got this on Amazon. It's Molly Ollie. And you just search Molly Ollie Caddy or Molly Ollie Diaper Tote. It was a great deal. It's Amazon Prime. It's got, it's very, it's thick. It's good quality. I like it. So yeah, I'm not an affiliate, so I'm not sharing any links or anything. But yes, all right. I've not gotten to do this in quite a while. But it's joy filled stash stash time. It's joy filled stash stash time. I finally have some stash to share with you. So first thing that came is my Gentle Art, not Gentle Arts, it's not Gentle Arts, this is Sulky. And I am doing the Sulky Club through Three Owl Threads. She does them as a pre-sale. Um, I get 10 spools a month for $20 shipped. I think it's closed for right now. She sends a little manifest as to what's in here and what colors they are so you can kind of keep track as to what you're getting. And she starts just at the beginning. I, I'm somewhere in the middle, I think. And then you keep adding. But, like, I got white this time. I got the bright white. I got... Did I get black, too? I did. I think I got black. Or... I did get black. So, I got white and black this time, which is awesome. Um, Because I'm loving those to sub in on charts that have white and black. So, and it's a mix of... Some of them are the blendables, which are more like a variegated. And then solids. And it just depends on where you are kind of in the lineup. So I got those, fast shipping, love it. Just watch the group on Facebook. It's 3 Owl Threads pre-sale. Um, she has a Google form, and when they're open, they're open. She does Gentle Arts, which I've done with her before, Classic Color Works, Weeks Dye Works, Stinky Dyes. There's Krynik. I mean, she has lots of different subs, and it's fantastic. I got my Color and Cotton from the Crazy Annie's uh, Crazy Stitchers Fabric of the Month color and cotton. 
I was doing two different. I was doing neutrals and 20 count. Aged paper was March's color. And then macaroon is the color in 18 count. I have since decided to take a break from this. I literally have no more room in my 18 and 20 count drawers. And I, at this point, have such a stash and I'm not really kidding anything that I need to save my money. So, um, there may be slots open. I don't know. And I know that there have been, um, Annie Miller of Crazy Annie's has sent out some details about the 18 count because it's becoming harder to get the quantity of base material in the 18 count. So I think there's some details on that if you're interested. Um, I'm really impressed with the fact that while it's been behind and like this is March's, that I've been kept in the loop about the whole thing. I know some people are frustrated. I know I'm going to get it. I have never not gotten something from Annie of Crazy Annie's. And so, and this is not sponsored in any way. I buy everything from her with my own money. I guess I look at it this way. It's going to arrive when it arrives. Um, I just watch my dates. And if we're approaching like six months, which has never gone anywhere close to that. There is a company that I no longer will shop with. And I have even a really hard time using their products that it got to the six month mark. And I finally had to request to have my money returned to me and open a case. Well, anyway, long story short, we're still in a place where we're relying on other countries' production of goods, Zweigert, DMC, for these products to be created. And not everything is wide open like the U.S. And not everywhere in the U.S. is wide open. So I think that patience is a virtue and I try to possess it. It's really hard. Humans are not great at being patient. Um, but I look at it as like a treat when it arrives. So speaking of, <laughs> this took quite a while to arrive, but it's well worth the wait. And I knew it was going to arrive. And I I have full faith in Nitka Moscow. Um, Nitka Moscow is a fantastic... <coughs> excuse me, shop out of Russia. They sell through their, um, they have a website, but you can also um, see all of their products on their Instagram. So it's nitka.moscow. And I pre-ordered this or ordered this back in March. It left almost immediately and then it kind of just sat for a really long time. That's okay. This is called the Four Seasons. And so you've got these beautiful ladies representing the different seasons. This is a Barbara Anna. She collaborates quite often with Barbara Anna to create these exclusive kits. So this is only available as a kit. Um, it comes in this fun like tube kind of thing, which I keep them in here until I start them and then I add them to a bag. It comes with all the fantastic DMC flosses. They've actually come up with their own like branded with this waves, uh, floss cards. This one has the most flosses I've seen. Well, obviously it's got four seasons worth. It comes with, this one came with some beautiful neutral even weave, which is gorgeous. Comes with gigantic, I'm not going to show you the front, but gigantic charts. And um, it even came with, I didn't see this, a QR code for stitch and listen to Spotify. And then it comes with some like instructions. So yeah. And then this, what's really cool about this one is it comes with freebies. So there's a little doodad, way tiny printed on the chart, that there's actually four little animals. I think they're cats. Maybe they're all cats that coordinate with these. So cute. So I just need to go on and get those. There's one every three months. Um. So I'm super excited to have gotten this. I think I am going to stitch them separately. I don't think I will stitch them on that fabric. Um, so that might just come to de-stash. Um, but I will use the flosses. It comes with needles. It's super reasonable, including shipping to the U.S. Super pumped about it. I'm excited it came. It was kind of a surprise when it came. So it was like, yay, Christmas in May for me. Um, so yeah, I think this is super pretty. I can't wait to start these, but I mean, let me just be honest. Barbara Anna keeps releasing more and more and more and more amazingness. I asked, is she part robot? Is she robot? Because like how? 
it's incredible. She's got another new stitch along coming called Up in the Air, June 1st. I've bought it. I haven't finished Dreaming Girl. I have only barely started Dreaming Frida. I've bought the Garden or Dreaming of Gardens or Garden Girl or Garden Dreams. The other one that's really awesome. I have Dreaming of Klimt. I have all of these amazing Barbara Annas plus all the ones I have started. But I can't not buy them because they're amazing. And because when you buy a sal on Creative Poppy, you have to buy it while it's available as a sal to have it in the different sections. Or you can maybe buy it later as a full chart. I'm not sure how that works. Anywho, at, make a long story short, blah, 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 blah. That's what I got in the mail this week. Yay. And I'm now I'm going to share with you an angel kindness card. So I sh have been sharing the Teresa Kogut angel kindness cards for the last near year. Um, we're coming upon our year anniversary of finishing these. There are 52 of them and I'm on some of the last ones. So I love this one. This is actually a cross stitch chart. I have seen this one. I think Jan Hicks is stitching this one and it's beautiful. It says when life gets difficult, get up, get dressed, look yourself in the mirror and say, not today. I've got this. So I'm kind of trying to like Power through today. Not today. I've got this. Considering my back is spasming. Um, I've busted some capillaries in my arm carrying stuff. And I'm like going moment by moment. Like I have a checklist. I'm having to cross, the, cross things off because my brain is just scattered in a billion directions. But it is okay. Not today. I've got this. And I'm excited to go get my hair did this afternoon as like a kind of a treat. A little bit of a treat. <clears throat> And so, yeah, that I think has kind of brought us to the end. I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, it's going to be another shorter one this week. So if you're doing some 30 minute stitching, I got you covered. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. We are coming to the end of May, beginning of June. Monday is Memorial Day here in the U.S. And so um, if you, you know, served bravely, loyally for our country, um, thank you for that. And if, um, obviously we want to honor and remember those who served and did not, um, did not survive. I could have said that way more eloquently, but it is also 730 in the morning. Um, no excuses. Um, I am grateful to live in a country that has a system of protecting our freedoms and am appreciative of those who willingly at this point, willingly. I know at a certain time there was no willingness about it with our selective service drafting, but willingly decide to put their lives on the line for our country. Um, so with that, I wish you a wonderful week ahead, weekend ahead. Hopefully the weather has not gotten too hot. Um, I'm sorry to say that you did not get to see my carpool hair don't care yesterday, hair yesterday, carpool hair don't care. Look, yesterday it was quite epic because it has been hot. And so, yeah, with that, I will say, so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I'll see you next Friday.